My name is Melissa Dinwiddie. I am an artist here in Vernon, British Columbia, and I own Leap Art Supplies and Gallery. I've always liked to paint and draw figurative work. Portrait work has really interested me, always. The portraits behind the people that I paint, I think it's the stories that really intrigue me. So my new series is called The Truth is Worth Pursuing. I decided to base my series on all journalists or reporters or filmmakers. Each is from a different country. Each of them have been persecuted or killed by their own government in their own country for just doing their job. It's a series that I came about kind of accidentally. Um, I originally wanted to do people that were not known but should be known because of what they do. And so I did some research and I found my first subject that I painted um, and he was a journalist from Egypt. His name is Sabri Anwar. He got taken from his home by police and he was interrogated and tortured for two weeks. And then his wife got to see him once in the jail and she never saw him again. He just disappeared and they deny even taking him. His story was so profound that I knew I had to paint him. Um, and then I wasn't sure I was going to do all journalists, but Trump got elected and he started calling out the media quite a bit and kind of attacking them. And without the media and journalists and reporters, there's no freedom of speech, there's no information. Another one, her name is Natalia Estimarova and she's from Russia. She got taken from her home. She was leaving her house, going to work, and she got taken. And a few hours later, they found her killed. When I first decided it was going to all be journalists, and I found out that Trump was calling out journalists basically as being enemy of the American people, I decided that I would get a background ready for an American journalist. And so I just waited. I bided my time, and on May 9th, an American journalist was arrested for only doing his job. His name is Dan Heyman. He was just asking questions. They said he was too persistent. He has been a journalist for 30 years, so he knows how to do his job, and he was arrested. And he faces up to six months in prison. I plastered it all over social media, and I hashtagged his name. And the next day, I woke up, and I got contacted by him on Facebook and he posted my painting on his page and wrote a little blurb about me and put a link to my website. And then a week later, yesterday, he contacted me again and he is purchasing that painting. If you're interested in finding out the full stories on each of these journalists, it's on my website, melissadinwoody.com, and it's under the 2017 tab. So I just got back from Vancouver and I showed the collection as a whole for the first time at a show called Art Vancouver. Um, all the proceeds from the sales of each of the paintings, I'm donating 25% of it to the CPJ, which is the Committee to Protect Journalists. At any given time, they know how many journalists are in prison in each country and they fight on their behalf when no one else will.